Hi everybody, it's Jamie Palmer here, digital marketing strategist and business strategist with Outlier Marketing Group. I am so excited that you're here. Thank you for tuning in to OMG TV with me. We um, truly exist to work with, you know, outliers, creators, coaches, consultants, and small business owners of all type to help them build a thriving business that they love and to be able to design a life where they don't need to escape from it. And I am so excited that you are here and you're listening in today. And one of the really awesome things that we are going to discuss today is that you don't have to be on every platform. And the reason why I say that is, is all too often somebody will come to me and say, Hey, Jamie, um, I want to, you know, go on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And the problem with that is that they feel like number one, they need to create content for each one of those platforms specifically, number one. And if you've watched my live on creating a content workflow, you know that that is not what I believe to be the case. <laughs> um, but more importantly, I think the biggest thing, especially if you're trying to do it yourself, like it's one thing if you have a team um, to handle certain things, but it's a real struggle for entrepreneurs who are trying to break that six figure mark and you know, get to a quarter of a million dollars or get to half a million dollars where they have this, like, the experience is like, I have to do it all or I want to, you know, be on every platform. And the fact of the matter is you don't have to be on every platform, but you have to kind of, you have to master email marketing and you have to master two platforms. And the reason why is because you need to send traffic right into your funnel and into your ecosystem and into your your platform but what happens is when you try to be on every platform say you're trying to do LinkedIn Facebook Twitter YouTube and Instagram the thing is you're never going to do all of those as well as you could unless you have a team to support you to do so so if you're at this place where you're like shit I can't have a, I don't I can't afford to hire a team to help me manage all those platforms number one and number two like if you're not even sure if all your your ideal client is on all of those platforms then don't like just don't even bother so I this is my my big thing that I want to express to everybody today you have to master email marketing the money is in the email marketing and um, yes it's in the follow-up but the follow-up via email the follow-up via phone call so you have to master email marketing especially if you want to be able to scale and grow your business like literally every time I send out an email I always get <laughs> I always get at least one like call to action or someone booking a a phone call with me or signing up for something at least one at least right and that number goes up and up and up as we segment the list and we send certain things to certain clients and certain prospects and certain everything so number one you have to master email if you haven't mastered email you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to email marketing you haven't even thought of email now is the time to start like on average according to Adobe an email address is approximately worth thirty nine dollars and eighty six cents over the life of the email so it's so important to start growing that list like that is the first and foremost thing that every person who's in business should be working on today and beyond like you gotta gotta master email like whether that's a weekly blog or a weekly email or you know monthly whatever that is commit to it own it <laughs> do it every week make it essential to working on your business and moving the business needle forward and work on growing that list right so we use these Facebook lives as an example to warm up cold traffic so they get to know like and trust me better and they can tell my style and they can figure out you know do hey is this Jamie chick actually know what she's talking about do I actually like what she has to say um, Etc. Etc. So video is huge for us. We constantly use video in our strategy. Then 
the other piece that is so important is to figure out which platforms your ideal client is hanging out on, right? So I have a team. <laughs> I have a team of five right now, and I am in social media, right? So we do digital marketing strategy for a living. So we are on a lot of platforms. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on LinkedIn. Um, we are on YouTube, but we don't like, I hardly ever touch Twitter and I hardly touch Twitter because I struggle to be able to keep up with it and do it well. And so I've said to my team, we're going to let that go because that's not something that we can manage and manage well. And therefore we're not going to do it. Right. So if we can't do it well, we don't want to do it. And that's the biggest thing that I'm, I'm trying to convey to you guys today. Pick two platforms that you know that you can do well, show up consistently, build a following, build a community, like create that engagement. And that's the biggest thing that I want to see from you guys. Like I want to see you creating these communities of people who are actively engaged in what you do. And ultimately that's like, you know, if you choose Facebook to be one of those platforms, that's what the Facebook algorithm wants anyway. Like the Facebook algorithm wants you to create community, create content, and show up and deliver on a consistent basis that content that is in alignment with what your, your audience wants. And that's the biggest thing. So number one, master email. Get a place, start leveraging an opt-in, start leveraging how to build your list. And if you're like, shit, Jamie, <laughs> you know, I just, I don't even know where to begin. That's where you begin. If you want to be in business in 2018, you need an email list. Number two, figure out where your ideal client is hanging out and leverage those platforms, right? And if you don't have a ton of money to spend on ads, that's okay. Don't, right? You don't need to spend a ton of money on ads. Try and think of the one-off platforms that you could potentially use. Like we, I know for a certain you know, we can get a lot of traffic off of Pinterest, right? Like who would think it? We get a lot of traffic off Pinterest, but we do. And we track all that data and we understand where all the clients are coming from. And so again, don't use me as it, like, <laughs> we are a social media digital marketing company. We teach people how to do this. We do this for a living. We have systems in place for managing every single one of these platforms. I don't want you to try and go out there. And this is, everyone always comes to me and is like, I want to be on every platform. And it's like, no, you really don't. Because number one, yeah, your ideal client might be on every platform, but can you service them and be of value and show up in a way that gives meaning to them on every single one of those platforms? Probably not unless you have help or if you're just like, just, just starting out and all like your main job right now is new client acquisition. Number one. Number two, Pick the platforms that you know you can do consistently. Like I know for me, it's a huge struggle to do Pinterest. So I outsource that to my team. And honestly, we're still not as consistent as I would like us to be on that platform. And I will probably say goodbye to Pinterest simply because we can't do it and do it well. And that's the biggest thing. You don't want your ideal client or your, that prospect who's actually thinking about buying something from you to like go to your Facebook page and it's crickets. Like there's nothing on there. You know, the last thing that they see on there is something from 2016. That's like the big, it's a huge problem today. Huge, huge, huge problem. And then the other thing is it's like, so if you are going to commit to say Facebook and Instagram, which are kind of the big two that everybody usually commits to, you know, what are you going to do to try and like streamline and make that process a, a little bit more simple for yourself, right? Like, like we talked about with the content workflow in one of the last lives that we did, what does that con content workflow look like for you when it comes to doing the content and creating the content on those platforms and how can you repurpose some of that stuff number one and number two how are you going to drive more traffic to your opt-in to really like rock out that <laughs> email list and email marketing right so are you going to send out the are you going to send out the video are you going to send out you know a transcription or some iteration of the video like what are all of those sort of things? And that's the biggest thing. Just continue to list build and master those platforms. And that's how you start to build that ecosystem and that funnel and the community, right? And those are the biggest things for creating success, right? Like it's really going very foundational because once you start to get that foundation in place and you have, you know, you're rocking out with your weekly lives, like we do weekly lives now, 
We're actually going to probably add in a second one. So we have like the OMG TV stuff with Jamie Palmer, which we do here on Facebook Live. We also take this content and put it on YouTube because it's really not that much more work. Um, and then we are probably going to start doing like a Monday morning motivation, like kick off your week live as well. And the reason that why we're going to do those things is because my audience is responding and continues to respond really well to video. I like doing video. It's an easy way for me to create content. And then I take that content and turn it into social media posts. And so there's lots of really cool ways where you can get creative about how you're just going to like own a platform, but you have to just start. And that's the biggest thing. Like entrepreneurs are notorious for saying, oh, I created this opt-in, I launched this course, I did blah, 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 and I now I have another idea, and so I'm going to go work on this other idea. That's over here doing its thing, even though it's not as super successful as it could be. What are my next step? Like, I'm on to the next thing, right? Versus <laughs> sticking with that one thing and that one piece and that stick to itiveness and the ability to, you know, tweak and hone that until you can have a six figure launch or have a consistent income coming from whatever that first program is or whatever that first opt in is. And that's the thing, like don't create this system for creating content for yourself and master email and master Facebook and Instagram and be like, all right, those are in place. I'm going to go try this other platform. It's a consistency thing. It's sticking with it, right? Like it's really hard to tell from 30 days worth of data what's working and what's not working. It's really easy to tell what's working, what's not working from six months worth of data. And that's the thing, like digital marketing and digital marketing strategy is an art and a science, right? So the art is what is that subject line or what is that, you know, caption or what is that thing that's going to make that person click? That's the art, right? That, that's the art of it. And that's where you get to be creative and express yourself as an entrepreneur and have lots of fun. And then the science of it is that piece where you are, you know, looking at the data, like, hey, <laughs> I did a video on X and my audience basically said, no, I don't like that, right? So whatever <laughs> whatever it might be, you know, you have to figure out that art and science means and how they come together. Like I would contend for an opt-in, right? You have to stick with one opt-in for six months before you can say, I'm gonna trash this opt-in. Right. So um, I it sounds crazy. Like and even I've fallen victim to this. I was saying to to Jesse the other day, I was like, oh, you know, like, is this really the right opt in for the audience? Like, are we getting as much conversion? Is the tripwire the right thing? And that's that tweaking and honing process. Right. That's like, you know putting people into the funnel and putting people through the email series and putting people into that that business ecosystem and seeing how they respond, right? And if you know that you've created something that's pretty flawless, right? Is it the right person that I'm getting into that funnel, right? Like, am I attracting that right person? So there's this art and this science to it where you have to look at what the content is that you're creating and then look at the data behind who's engaging with that content. And there's lots of crazy ninja things that you can do from a Facebook perspective to look at who your audience is, who's engaging, you know, who are these people? Like there's lots of crazy cool things that you can do like that, but it's understanding that you have to have that data first before you can do anything, right? So if you've been, you know, consistently emailing your list for two weeks and you've got 20 people on your list, that's not nearly enough data, right? Like I like to look at at a minimum, you know, a hundred people on a list, a thousand or two thousand or three thousand is going to be a lot better. And those are the things that it's so important, right? So, so the biggest thing is like stop waiting, right? Stop waiting to have your entire course done or have your entire business mapped out or whatever. The biggest thing is start today, right? And 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 I'm guilty, like we've all been guilty of this as entrepreneurs, right? Like it's so easy to be like, oh, I'm gonna go work on this fun project over here rather than work on you know, this thing that I know that's actually going to move the ball forward, but it's a little bit harder or, you know, I'm fearful because I have to put myself out there on a live video, right? You know, like I can't tell you how many times I put off doing these live videos because it's like, 
I have to do a live video. Ugh. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. Just start today and get started and, and, and tweak and hone along the way because the more data that you have and the more emails that you have and the bigger community that you've created within whatever your expertise is, that's really how you're going to be able to continue to grow that, right? So I was working with a client the other day. She's put about 700 people through her funnel and has a 30% buy rate, which is fantastic, right? So that means that the person that is going through that funnel and the offer that we're offering to that person, those two things are working, right? And so she's on Facebook and Instagram, she's emailing, and that ecosystem for her is working fantastically. And so understanding, A, you gotta master email, and B, what are those other two platforms where you're just gonna be like, I'm gonna kick ass, I'm gonna show up consistently, and I'm gonna commit to it. And that's the biggest thing that I wanna see from you guys this week. I wanna see that consistency of showing up in those platforms and building that community and really like spreading your word. Because like ultimately many of us become entrepreneurs because we want to make an impact, right? Like we wanna have an impact in the world. We wanna be able to help people do whatever it is that we wanna do. And that's, that's what I want for you guys. I want you to go out there and have a bigger impact and have a bigger impact by being consistent and showing up and doing all of those things that you know that you need to do as a business owner to continue to generate and get more business coming in. So master email, pick two platforms and rock it out. Have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for listening and I look forward to chatting with you soon.